guys, I know it's been a long time since we uploaded uploaded a video, but today I just want to talk to you about um, my hamster and my guinea pigs. So early, earlier on this year, a sad event occurred. Um, in July, I went to my hometown, Bermuda, and halfway in the trip, we got a message from the person who was looking after my hamster and two guinea pigs. The hamster's name was um, Cheeks, because you know they stuffed their food in their cheeks. And the two guinea pigs' name was Waffle and Brownie, because one was all brown and he looked like brownie, like a brownie, and he had like colours of caramel, which some brownies do. And the other one looked like waffles, like beige-ish, whitish colour, you know what I mean. So Waffle, Brownie and Cheeks. We got a call for the person who was looking out for them when we were on holiday. And of course, Bermuda, five hours away from, from it, seven hours, sorry, seven hours away from England. So it's a long flight too. Um, so the sad event was, they had passed away from the heat because it was over 100 degrees in Fahrenheit. You could probably cook an egg at that time on the ground or fry it or scramble it or something. That hot, they passed away, all three of them. I was crying madly. But a happy event happened in August. When I got back from my dad's where I am right now, at this current moment, um, I got another hamster, yeah! His name was Theodore. We call him Titi or Felipe for short. You know, nicknames. Everyone has a nickname. See, my nickname's K or Buds. Anything. Call me what you want, guys. Just nothing rude. Um, so, yeah, I got a new hamster named Theodore. Um, up in the box there, you'll see a pic you'll see a picture of him. And yeah. That, that's it. Well, I hope you liked this really short four, min four, three minutes, two minute video about my hamsters, about my hamster. Oh, wait, I have to tell you another thing. So, you know how Waffle and Brownie died, my two guinea pigs? Their cage was still at my house. So you know the elves come around now, December, December to from the 24th to the 1st, like they do all this mischievous stuff and move every day and you can't touch them? Well, well, what they did, they actually had all this guinea pig food in my conservatory, the guinea pig cage. When I looked in the cage, there was this foot poking out of this little cubby hole and I was like, oh. Oh man, and I went crying to my mum because I was so happy. It was all different emotions because I was really sad because it reminded me of, of my passed away guinea pigs and hamster, but I was so excited I got new ones. I have to say, I thought it was only one guinea pig. It was three, three with three game names. You know Scrabble and Sequence. Sequence is the smallest. I would call him the run. We know it's the biggest, travels medium, they're all brothers, same age, October the 21st they were born. Well yeah, think, I hope you liked it. Oh, and also, one more fact, I will send you a picture of them. Also, you know, the difference how you tell the, uh, between Scrabble and Sequence is, Sequence has a big eye patch, has two big eye patches, and, se and Sequence has smaller ones and Sequence has a whole black foot Scrabble has um, pink feet and also Sequence has a little bit of black on his ears but not fully black and Scrabble has one black ear you know he's just the biggest and um, his, his blackish colour on him it's not as dark as you know in Scrabble you know I mean, sorry, Sequence and Scrabble. This is the kind of colour Sequence and Scrabble are. You know, it's more of like the light black, if you know what I mean, almost bluish. 
Well, if we get, if we get, if we get over 30 or 40 likes on this video, maybe I'll get a live stream with me and the pigs. One day maybe, and maybe with my hamster. We'll have to see you guys' decision. Well, it's up to you. See you next time on Caden's Fun and Learning. Bye. Thanks for watching. Awesome.